Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Andre and uh, lots of people love jerk chicken, so do I, but I'm going to do jerked pork today, something different. And with this piece here, the pork collar butt or the capicola, which you guys, if you watch any of my videos, know I love using. We're going to use this and marinate it in a beautiful jerk marinade. So let's get right to it. I am not an expert in Jamaican cuisine by any standard, but I love food, I love experimenting, and I've been really deep diving jerk because once you get into it, there are a lot of ingredients that go into it. I really didn't realize how complex it was. It's not complicated, but it's uh, got lots of ingredients. I'm not gonna go through every single one right now. I will put a list below in the description of exactly what I'm using for this one. And uh, let's just get into it. We're just gonna prep a few things now, and then I'm gonna get the old uh, RoboCoop up to make this and blend it all together. Some, some guys say use three or four scotch bonnets. I'm only using two. And if you've never used scotch bonnet before, make sure you wear gloves and, uh, oh yeah, the onions. And just don't touch your face. Make sure you remember to wash everything because uh, they are quite potent. Here we go, we got everything prepped. The only thing I haven't added is the honey because it's really sticky. So if you have a big blender, you can do it in that. I don't have one currently, so I'm gonna just do it in this uh, food processor. So we'll just throw everything into the pot here. And I'm gonna chop this up a little bit just before I add the liquid. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna add the dry spices. Now I'm gonna add the honey. And now the liquid. There we go, oh. Smells so good. So complex with the flavoring, love it. Anyways, we're gonna get this into a bowl and then we're gonna prep the meat. Okay, here we go with this beautiful piece. All I'm gonna do is cut it into slices and then we're gonna smoke it. So, I'm gonna go I don't know, probably three, quarter to, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. See, this is beautiful. All that marbling adds to the flavor, everything. Oh yeah, look. Now we're gonna get this marinated. I'm just gonna put it in here. Normally people only marinate things for like an hour. For me, if you do it an hour, that does like nothing. That's why I'm doing this first thing in the morning. I'm gonna let it go for four to five hours and then we're gonna smoke these guys. Change of mind, I'm gonna use a bigger bowl. So get that in there. Get these all in there. I had enough just to cover them. Give them a quick mix, so that make sure you get it over all of them. Oh, it smells so good. There we go. 
just a little more for good luck. There we go. Now I'm just going to cover this with saran wrap, throw it in the fridge, and uh, see you back in a few hours, and we're going to be at the smoker. These things have been marinating. I just looked at my uh, clock. Almost six hours, which is perfect. Uh, they look fantastic. It smells fantastic. And uh, smoker's at 250 right now, and let's get them on. Then with these, I am not putting them directly in the hot zone. I'm going to keep them more in the middle because I don't need them blasted. Make sure you get some of that marinade over them. Uh, you know what? Put him there. I'm going to just put some more of the, the jerk seasoning over every one of them just that they are nicely covered. They look fantastic. In they go, and I'll, I'll be back in about 45 minutes just to peek on them. All I want to do is get them up to an internal of like 71 degrees Celsius. And then they're done. Okay, we're at the 45 minute mark, and uh, let's take a look at these things. Okay, okay. Not as smoky as I want them, but that's... We're at like 55 degrees Celsius, uh, they need more time. So in they go. And uh, see you inside when they're done. They're done, they look fantastic, they smell so good. I'm just gonna take one. Looks great. I had them in a little bit longer. Uh, they actually got up to like 78 degrees, but this piece can handle that and I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to just slice a few slices here. That looks fantastic. That jerk flavor really comes through. A little bit of smoke, not too much. This piece is super tender. It's hard to go wrong with this piece, which is nice. I think, honestly, the only other way I would have cooked this is over charcoal. I think that would give it a... Cooking things over charcoal just gives it that really, I don't know, hard to explain that flavor. You know what it is. I think that would make these better than, than cooking them in the smoker. But they're really good though. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy with how these turned out. Another one for the books, another win. Yes, I love it. Uh, this would be great for a party. I had them in there like an hour and 45 minutes. So for a party, that would be perfect. You know, it's, it's not gonna take all day. Do it the day ahead, but I really think marinating them more than an hour is necessary. I had them in for almost six, so if you do them at night and do them the next day, perfect. Uh, you want that? You really want that flavor to soak in and get into that meat. You just don't want it on the outside. That being said, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna go stuff my face off camera, and happy eating.